Hey, and welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to give you 5 reasons why you'd want to start the Japanese version of the Serio Opera Omnia as opposed to the global version. Don't fret about the language differences. Every menu panel is basically the same as the global version. Let's get into it. Number 1. Level up in no time. In the JP version, there are already loads of strong people and this is actually a good thing because they give out strong support characters that can make grinding and progressing the chapters a piece of cake. Not to mention, earning gems will be as quick as ever. In fact, I had earned 30k gems in no time just to spend on Rams' weapon in a previous video. Now, I'm aware that you can only add strong support characters only when you've reached a certain rank, but you can find some powerful support IDs in the The City Opera Omnia subreddit. And if you're a veteran JP Opera Omnian watching this, don't hesitate to leave your ID in the comments below. Number 2. Easier Upgrades Don't you get tired of clicking upgrade stones one by one when on the verge of limit breaking your ultimate weapon? Well, you don't have to do that anymore. You can just click and choose how many upgrade stones you want to use. In addition to this, you can now sell up to 30 items rather than the usual 10. Number 3. Level 60. This is a state only known to us JP Opera Omnians and it changes your whole view of characters. For instance, Laguna's grenade attack now shaves enemies bravery, gives them status effects and adds a good amount of bravery to your team. Not to mention the life-changing Renzokuken of Squalls now does HP damage to all the enemies in the field, saving a whole lot of time and actions to get that high score you always wanted to achieve. Number 4. Experience the glory of new characters first. You haven't experienced true ah <sighs> before you've used Deuce and Selfie in your party. Experience awesome characters like Noctis, Agrias and Lock Cole first hand. Although the Noctis event has passed, Agrias and Lock Cole are still coming this month. If that's not enough to make you join, I hope this last one will. Number 5 EX Skills This came as a shock for me because I had read in an article one day that the mobile version of Dissidia will replace EX skills with summoning. So this is definitely an awesome addition to the game. Granted you get the EX weapon from the banner of course, which some days are hard and some days easier. I myself have gotten 7 EX weapon without spending any money on gems this far. Also did I mention these EX skills are unlimited? You only have to charge them up by attacking the enemy and once it's filled, you can unleash its true power. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like if you found this video informative and subscribe and tune in for my next videos of weapon pulls and Opera Omnia news and info. Until next time, this is KJ. Have a good day.